Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create endless dependent drop down lists in Excel. Before we start, hurry up and check out Lazy Software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you actually do this? Well, the first thing they want to do here is you want to open up your Excel here and you want to create your uh in this case tables now i have a category table here a sub category as well as an items uh table here now in this case what we need to do is we need to fill this up so first we have a category categories here we have our categories and the subcategories for it and the items and the subcategories for each item that we have now with the data sheet that we have here, so make sure to name the sheet as data sheet because this will be the reference that we'll be using later on. We also need a sheet here, which in this case will be filled up with the data we have right now. Now, in this case, first things first is we need to create our manager or in this case, our name manager here. In this case, you want to go to formulas here and you want to actually click on name manager. And from here, click on new. Now from here, you want to actually name this as category. So this is the first one, category. So make sure it's actually correct. And from here, you want to click on this section and you want to highlight what items I want to include into the uh, name, uh, name section here. Let's go and click on OK to apply that and click on close. Now, once we've done that, we now need to highlight our subcategory. So make sure to include the top section here that includes our category. And you want to click on the create from selection in the formula section here. And you only want to include the top row here. So create names from the values in the top row. Now click on OK. And from here, you want to select your items here. Same thing, highlight your subcategories that you have here. Now let's go ahead and click on the create from selection. And again, just include the top row. Now, whenever we click on name manager here, you should now have your uh, names. So in this case, we have our categories. We also have electronics here. So in this case, electronics would contain the following values. And first name will contain, or in this case, uh, first name, uh, fruits, laptop, last name, and all of those details will, will be contained in here. So once you've added that, what we need to do next, we need to go to our sheet here. And you want to go to category here, and we want to highlight the whole thing. And you want to go to data, and you want to go to data validation. Click on data validation. Now from here, you want to select list. And from here, just type in the source equals, just type in category and click on OK. Now, whenever we click on this one, it should now have our categories first uh, selectable in here. Now, we now need to select our subcategory. Let's go ahead and select that. Click on data validation again. Click on list. And from here, we want to actually type in the following, which is going to be equals in direct. And you want to add your first parentheses and you want to add or click on the A5 here, which is the first uh, empty value on the table that we have here. Now in this case, close this with a parentheses and click on OK. Click on yes. Same thing with items. So you want to select that, click on data validation, click on list, and we want to equal uh, uh, type an equal in direct. And we now need to say uh, same thing. B5 is the first one that is empty here. Let's go ahead and add our last parentheses and click on OK. Click on yes. Now, whenever we set, so for example, category, when if you you are not able to select anything yet because we haven't filled up category here, let's go and fill out with uh, fill this out with electronics. So we go to category here. We have our electronics. Now we want to go to items. We now have our items. Now same thing when we go to other categories here, it should give you the uh, options as well. So in this case, it's going to switch this one. So this name. So yeah, if that doesn't work, like for example, this doesn't work properly, you could go to data validation again. You could go ahead and select it properly. So um, so by the way, whenever it doesn't work, what I recommend you try doing here is you want to select it again, click on data validation. Make sure to remove the uh, dollar sign. So it's just uh, A5. Uh, make sure that's uh, the only value. As you can see, it should now be updated to that. Same thing with items. You want to go and select that, click on data validation and remove the uh, dollar sign next to it, click on OK, and that should actually fix it. So, uh, yeah. So, so that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.